Hello, I hope you are enjoying your day, no matter what you are doing. And I hope you enjoy watching this behind the scenes painting process video. In this video, you will be able to see a creation of a painting in full from the beginning stages to the total completion. Even though this video is only about 15 minutes long, it actually took me about two and a half months to completely finish this artwork. This is the finished work. The process starts with lots of sketching and brainstorming. I like to use my sketch diary for that. I usually begin by uh, dropping down some ideas that come into my head and then do some research on the subject. It could include looking up some images, looking through books and um, magazines and other resources. Uh, sometimes it helps to work out some details to visualize more of the painting. Next comes board preparation. I don't particularly like this <laughs> dusty process, but it has to be done perfectly as this is the base for the whole thing. Many, many, many layers of gesso are applied with sanding between coats for a very smooth, perfect finish. And here is another step, working out the composition to size. Some things will change and look differently after the painting is complete, but the main subject placement usually stays the same as in the preliminary sketches. A lot of work has to happen before I can even start to paint on the actual painting. Here we go. Uh, you'd have to excuse the lighting as it's very hard to actually film black on black painting. As the camera constantly tries to compensate and makes everything look gray. Also, my studio is really set up uh, with the lighting so that I can see better uh, while I'm painting so camera doesn't seem to like that very much <laughs> it wants its own spotlight but i can't do that because then i wouldn't be able to see what i'm doing so maybe if i get a um, different studio i'd be able to set things up both ways hopefully Yeah, so it constantly tries to compensate and makes everything look grey. 
The visuals become a bit better when more colors come into play. First layers of paint are quite rough and with each new layer uh, the painting becomes more and more refined. This is acrylic paint, so I do like to use layering techniques rather than blending, especially later in the process. Here comes the royal cape with a white furry trim. I'm actually working on a fur drawing video tutorial so make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see um, a detailed tutorial a step by step on how to draw fur and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you are notified when the new videos are uploaded. And here is what it looks like when it's finished. Now the crown and some other gold details. And here is the black kitty finished. Now you can see me starting to work on a gray cat. So again, you can see how sketchy first couple of layers are. I usually use these layers to uh, build up some paint and roughly mark shadows and light areas. And only after I uh, work on more details and textures like fur, gold, you know, highlights and so on. The more I work on the painting, the more it comes to life. And uh, remember what you see here being completed in minutes or even seconds actually takes weeks to paint. Here comes the third eye for the wizard cat. And now a little cheek and other surrounding objects. And this is what the cheek looks like when the painting is finished. Now layering the paint on the cushion to give the fabric some texture. And finally 
getting into more details. The golden human skull encrusted with jewels. This painting is actually a commission, so I can't tell you the full story behind it. Uh, many people that commission art uh, from me want to keep it private and ask me not to share it. And I perfectly understand and respect their wishes. But some patrons are happy to share their special ordered art uh, with the world. And that's wonderful too. Now the painting process focuses more on smaller subjects of this painting and some jewelry painting as well. Here is another shot from the finished work. It can be tricky to work on black at times and requires quite a few layers to just block out the darkness. Kids are <laughs> such a cute and very tricky creatures. One of the hardest things is to try and tell what color eyes they have from just looking at the photos and after I got more photos from the patron I realized they had more orange shades present so not as much green as I thought before <laughs> so some layering here and highlights Oh, and here is a beetle that is helping to carry the cushion that the magical wizard cat is reclining on. I don't know if you remember when in the beginning of this video I showed you my sketch diary. But I thought that this is a perfect example to show you how ideas uh, can sometimes turn into paintings and how similar but much more complete they look on the finished work. And more details again, highlights, whiskers, little bits of string. And this is the final artwork. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I'd like to say a very big thank you to my wonderful patrons who are supporting this channel. If you would like to join my Patreon club, make sure to go and check it out. The link is just below the video. There are more videos, follow long tutorials, educational posts, lucky draws, and much, much more. You might really like it there. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And as always, thank you for painting with me.